kids may be asking for. It's called the Nintendo 3DS. It hit stores this past weekend. It's a handheld gaming system that provides 3D gaming without the glasses. In fact, Jimmy Fallon recently gave it a shot on his show with some help uh, from the president of Nintendo of America. Yeah, but do kids actually like it? Here with their impressions, along with some other tech toys for kids, we have the hosts of the Kid Friday Tech Podcast, Hannah and Zoe Zwerd. Like, hi, girls. Hi. How are you? Good. Pretty pumped to have you here, ladies. Thanks so much for being here. I mean, they are a big shot. They're the number eight kids in the family iTunes going uh, iTunes podcast going on right now. Hannah, how did you want to? How did you start doing this podcast? Well, we were doing a Webkins webcast before, and there's these little stuffed animals, and you go online with them. And we got really sick of doing that, <laughs> so we're like, well, what should we do? And we were really into iPods and electronics, so we decided to do it on electronics. And so, Zoe, so you guys do this in your house, and your dad helps you out. Is that how it works? Yeah. And you record it. Mm -hmm. And are you surprised by how many people want to listen to what you have to say about tech stuff? Yeah, I was really surprised. Like, the first, like, two weeks we did it, we had so many views. It was crazy. Now, do you hear from people from around the world that are listening to you? Yes, we do. We're from Japan and Germany. We get emails every week from people all around the world. Is, okay. it, is it kid, just kids, or do you have a lot of adults listening, too? Um, it's mostly kids. Some of their parents write in and say, this is so cool. Oh, it is, is cool. cool. It's yeah. really cool. That's awesome. All right, we talked about the Nintendo 3DS. We gave you a chance to check it out. We've got it right here, and we gave you mm -hmm. a chance to check it out before the show. So, Hannah, what? you have it? Yes. Yeah, so what do you think? Um, it's so cool. There's been DS's before like this, uh -huh. but this one is actually in 3D, and so you can play games in 3D, take pictures in 3D, and it's amazing. That thing takes pictures? Yep. There's Whoa. two cameras, and you can take pictures of yourself, and then you can take pictures of your friends. Oh mm -hmm. my gosh. So it's 3D, so, so if, you're, if you're doing an action type of game or something like that, does it feel like you're dodging out of the way of stuff? Or? Yes. We actually, you can take pictures and have yourself in the games. But Zoe, what about cool if, is that? does, I always wonder about the 3D stuff, maybe because I'm very, very old, mm -hmm. and I wonder if your eyes will hurt when you're looking at this, th like I'm afraid to go to a 3D movie. Do you think that it, does, is, is it hard on your eyes? Um, well, after about um, 10 minutes, it gets a little dizzy. Yeah. But it's still really cool. Okay. All right, that's a nice <laughs> I mean, review. don't let dizziness get in the way of a good time. They got virtual reality <laughs> games in, uh, in this, this thing as well. It goes for two forty nine ninety nine. Now, we also want to talk about some of your favorite products. And I understand the Apple iPad is uh, yes. a very popular one, especially with you guys. Yes. So why, do you, why are you loving the iPad? Because everybody knows the iPad gets rave reviews, but we're looking at it from a kid's perspective. Yeah. Like, why would a kid want the iPad? The iPad can do everything. It, you can look at YouTube videos, you can play games, you can surf the internet, and you can do whatever you want. It really helps out with homework, I would think, huh? Yeah, you can type reports on it. I've done that before. Really? Yeah. Do you okay. ever use it to, like, do drawings or anything like that? Yeah, too? you can do drawings. Wow. So, Zoe, I heard that you guys like a few, there's some apps in particular for kids that you like on the iPad, the Angry Birds one. What is this one? Um, so you have these, like, birds, and they're, like, they try to, you try to, like, kill these pigs. Yeah. And it's just fun. Okay, I have to tell you that my 30-year-old <laughs> friend, Matt, a huge fan of this game. I know a lot of 30, 40, 50-year-old <laughs> people that, that love this game. Here's why I don't play this game myself, because I understand it's completely addicting, and if I tried it once, I'd play it a million times. Is this true, ladies? Yes, it's definitely addicting. Addicting. Okay, what about Flipboard, Hannah? Flipboard, so you can go on, you can add your Facebook and Twitter accounts, and um, you can look at the newspaper, you can look at what your friends are posting, you can do whatever. So you it want just kind of combines everything so you can look at it all in one yeah, place? Yeah, it's like a, your own magazine. Oh, wow. A little one stop shop. Neat, nice. okay. And Salty Spa Light? Is Sally Spa Light. Sally Spa Light. Yeah. Um, I like that. Because I, I know that one. <laughs> Zoe's um, laughing at you. <laughs> Zoe, why do you like that one? Um, because when I grow up, I want to open my own store. Nice. And it's just fun because you can, like, like it, it's just challenging and it's just so fun. So you get to you get to make up your own spa, essentially. Is that what it is? Yeah. And you're saying who gets the pedicure and who gets that, yeah? yeah. Is that the kind of store you want to open up? Not really. Not open up. Open, like a fashion store. Or a something. Fashion store. Well, you girls are pretty fashionable, so Very this does nice. not surprise me. You've also brought the Samsung camcorder F40, which is a favorite of yours. Yeah. Right? Why is this a good one for kids? Um, I like it because 
I it has a really really good zoom, mm -hmm. and I love making YouTube videos with my friends because it's just I like doing that. Yeah, that's <laughs> really fun. It looks like it'd be a nice size for you guys because your hands are a little smaller. You yeah, know? and it has that handle. So it's pretty easy to use. Yeah. Okay. Does it need to be easy to use for kids? Because it seems like it needs to be easy to use for the adults. The kids, the kids can't can handle just about out. anything. Is that right? Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> okay. Can you can you handle more advanced technology than your parents? You can figure it well, out faster. Well, your yeah. dad's going to be pretty yeah, savvy. Yeah, my dad is. He knows a lot about electronics. Yeah. But most adults, but, I would think, you have what pretty but, good. And huh? your yeah. mom, you're just kind of leaving out there. She's not maybe. Okay. She's good at other yeah. things. <laughs> well, you girls did a great job. Thank you so much for sharing with us. Yeah, nice job on the smiles all segment long. We appreciate that. <laughs> the uh, Kid Friday podcast, it's available on iTunes. We mentioned it's number eight among kids and family the right now. Are awesome, yeah. They are huge celebrities. We're glad to have them on the show. We have a link to their podcast on our website. Just go to KSTP.com, click on Twin Cities Live. Thanks a lot, girls. Okay, coming up, Joyce Carol Oates is here. She's the author.